you with Council. I'll do yeah. a brief presentation on the financial plan. Uh, it's just a general overview of what we've dealt with over the last year and where we're headed this year. And then um, if you'd like to take the time to review the financial plan that you've been provided, if you have any questions, you can ask Council at that time. We'll uh, do our best to answer your questions. If there's any answers that we can't provide today, I uh, have no problem with uh, taking your name and responding to you as soon as possible, whether it be by the end of today or possibly early next week. Okay. So, uh, the 2023 financial plan is being presented today. Uh, generally speaking, we are an overview. This presentation will give a general overview of the 2023 financial plan and provide an opportunity to ask questions, gather information, and provide feedback. If you'd like more details, please contact our office at 476-5414 or email at admin at rmrsdale.com. Each year, the municipality sets goals to be met through the financial plan, and the 2023 financial plan proposes to accomplish the following. To maintain current infrastructure and address capital needs and environmental issues. To maintain or improve levels of municipal service. To investigate and improve efficiency and cost-effectiveness of current operations, and to prepare for future growth of the municipality. So, in our financial planning process, we have the preliminary budget prepared, which is the step that we're doing today. Adjustments are made by management. We have council working sessions. We revise the budget, prepare the financial plan, um, hold the public hearing, and then bylaw uh, to introduction and adoption by council. Um, municipal tax dollars include services such as road maintenance, administration costs, weed control, fire protection, snow removal, dust control, emergency services, police and RCMP protection, the Nikwan Area Planning District fees, recycling and garbage pickup, parks and playgrounds recreation, consultants, street lighting, flood control, playgrounds, animal control, and traffic services. <clears throat> uh, some of the projects completed in 2022 were the purchase of an HLA 3500 snow thrower. We purchased a new spearhead mower, uh, a new purchase uh, to assist with the Town of Nikwa Reservoir for the Eaton Utility. We had an uh, asset management project included, uh, which included a landfill feasibility study and bridge inspections throughout the municipality. We surveyed two of our cemeteries and uh, we had a flood and a disaster financial assistance claim for the 2022 flood last year. Um, there were a number of grants that were uh, approved by council. Uh, over $55,000 worth of grants uh, to different committees, um, including uh, Franklin Memorial Hall, um, we have uh, the Mountain Road Hall Committee, the Calvert Legion, the Calvert Fire Department, uh, Rosedale Farm Trail Committee, um, and uh, Calvert and Area Wise. Uh, so uh, between 2018 and 2023, uh, the annual assessment average increase has been approximately 3.3%. Um, the 2023 assessment for Rosedale is $128,301,408. Sorry, 301,409. A uh, portion of the revenue that's generated is through the school division mill rates, the Beautiful Plains School Division mill rate, the Turtle River School Division mill rate and the education support levy. In total, the municipal assessment increased by 13 million three hundred forty thousand two hundred. Sorry, 13 million three hundred forty two hundred ten. The municipal mill rate is multiplied by the proportion assessment and provides the tax base revenue. The 2023 municipal mill rate will be approximately 11.064 mills. Sorry, 11.081 mills. That was yesterday's numbers. So this is an approximate increase of 3.5% overall. So an example of mill rate calculation. If your apportioned assessment uh, it is $100,000. The municipal portion of your pro uh, property taxes, based on the mill rate, should be approximately 
and $8. It's applicable to provincial education bill rates and local improvements are in addition to the municipal bill rate. Having said that, if um, anyone has any questions, the financial plan uh, is being presented today. Uh, if council approves, we can give it a first and or second reading. Um, tax due dates this year is October 20, uh, sorry, October 31st, 2023. Um, and uh, we have a board of revision held in October, as well as the possible tax bill date. Our office hours are 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact our office.
I have one more question as well. In the legal budget for 2023, do you have a budget of $2,500? Due to recent circumstances, don't you think that number should be quite a bit substantially higher with a legal act probably coming this way? I'm sorry, I can't speak to that. I don't think that's appropriate, but the council is welcome to. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more than that. And it ain't easy 
shitty around the grader, and he took guys who were pretty good at it, and he taught them to run it better, and then we thanked him by firing him. So I hope we have a really good reason, because I won't be a happy great bear if we're paying a huge legal bill on settlement to fix this problem. That's all I have to that. Any other questions? Second. All in favor? Carried.